day and welcome back friends welcome back to more star dew valley i am your host tailhelm and we are on the hilltop farm and it's a great time to be here so what do we got going on for weather tomorrow oh, sunny and clear how we feeling here Ooh, very happy today oh well maybe we should venture on into the mines Getting some potatoes. I like it. I like it. Uh, did we turn in a potato already to the community center? I think we did. Oh, and we have... We have enough parsnips. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, we have to water way less things today. It is only the 13th. Do I go and purchase some more crops? And if we were to do that, what would we purchase? Knowing that strawberries are coming, do we go and buy things, or do we just leave this vacant land here? And if we leave this vacant, uh, how many strawberries do you think we should buy? That's a great question. I don't know that I have a good answer to that question. Let's not forget our ancient fruit seed there. Uh, the most important seed in all of our gardening and farming life. Oh, well, we should probably water. Here you go, kitty cat. Little nugget. Oh, he's a cute. All right. And we're out. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> we need a better watering can so badly. Oh, so badly. It's true. We do. I need to water all those also. So many parsnips. They're everywhere. Normally, I grow potatoes. So this is a little bit strange to me still. All of these parsnips everywhere. Okay. What to kind of to, we're gonna have to count real quick in just a second how many strawberries I think I want to buy when that comes around. When it comes around, I'm gonna have to go look at the calendar too in town to figure out when in the world that event even is coming. It's only 8.40. Oh, we have so much time. So much time. That's fabulous. Okay, so this is, let's see, four, five. Each of these rows is five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so we could buy 25. That feels like a lot. Doesn't it? Does it feel like a considerable amount to you? It feels like a fairly considerable amount to me. Do I want to buy that many? Or do we just get like 20? That would still leave me with a thousand dollars. Oh, we can't sell in here today. No, I brought it all with me. Okay. Uh, let's buy. Let's buy 20, I guess. Yeah. Let's buy 20. Hello, Shane. Our hens have been working overtime. Oh, they deserve the best. Bowls of sweet yellow corn. I do like eat corn. It's tasty. No one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. Well, hello, Linus. Is there any more food? Clint, I don't know. Is there more food? It looks like the table's pretty packed, buddy. I put something nice into the punch. Oh, Pam. Help everyone's enjoying the food I've been cooking for days. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs. Chocolate eggs. I don't think I've ever had a chocolate egg. Hello, Harvey. Eggs definitely have a place in a well-balanced diet. Do they? Because that's been a debate my whole life. Sometimes I'll hide an egg too well and no one finds it. Well, until summer, and then the hot air starts to bring out the smell. Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. Oh, well, that's that's lovely. Abby's always loved the egg hunt. Oh, well, I mean, it is kind of fun. Spring is a busy time of year, so it's nice to have a day off to catch up. Oh, I don't know what a day off is, Robin. Demetrius, hello. Egg, what a strange thing to eat. Well, it's true. 
don't know how you're supposed to line yourself up with this thing. I can never, like... I can never get it. <laughs> That's the best I can get. <laughs> Hilarious. A festival's a tradition as long as I can remember. Tradition connects us with both the past and the future. Wait, wasn't Willy just up there? Why is everyone happy? I, George, I, I don't know. George, listen. Maybe maybe you need more prunes in your diet. I, I, don't, I really don't know. I try to eat at least three eggs every day. Alex likes a complete breakfast, which includes eggs. The festival's all right, but what I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. Oh, God, I hate the dance. What? Well, not just in this game. I just mean in general. I don't like dancing. Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. Okay. We used to do a rotten egg toss. Mayor Lewis put an end to that pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, my dose. My allergies. I can't bleed. Hello. I hope I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. Well. When does the egg hunt start? The children have been looking forward to it for weeks. Uh, I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes us feel like a community. But you know what else makes you feel like a community? A community center. I'm just saying. I've been up since dawn coloring eggs. Oh, Emily does the egg coloring. Oh, okay. Vincent loves the festival. Oh, well. It's hard to disagree. The fruit punch is unusually good. Uh-oh, Leia. <laughs> Be careful with that punch. Taking breaks from work can make you more productive. Are you sure? Because... Um... I just take naps. I don't know. Does that count as a break? Welcome to the Egg Festival. Compliments of my hens. Oh, well, your hens were, were very good. Uh, yeah, I think we should start. Now, here's what cracks me up about this game. This is just like the one thing that really makes me laugh. Is that no matter how long you play the game, you could be married and with a couple of kids and you still do the egg hunt. And it makes me laugh. It just makes me laugh. It's the time for the annual egg hunt. Okay. The children are excited. Calm down. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. This is like the one event that I always try and do because I like the hat. So I always try and get the hat. Ready, go. All right. Uh, I can never remember where all the eggs are that I want to get. So we'll just run through. We'll grab what we can get. There's one back over there, too. Do, 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 do. Imagine how many eggs you could get if you had coffee available to you in this event. Like, just think of how many places you could get to very quickly, you know? What are we at now? Six? Eight? Eight's pretty solid. Nine. Oh, here's ten. Eleven's coming. All right. Eleven's pretty good. We'll take eleven. Good job, everybody. Eleven eggs. Wow, look at all the eggs. Oh, if only I could get you guys to pick up litter this efficiently. We'd have the cleanest town. I, he's probably not wrong. And now the winner is... It, well, it better be me with 11. Hill! Yay! I have been successful. Here's your hat. <laughs> well, that's it. Thanks for coming. I will say it's almost a shame that they, you don't just get the $1,000 in year one. Because that would be really nice. Okay, let's plant our strawberry friends instantaneously. And uh, let's water them. So we should get at least one harvest out of this. I don't know how many days it takes to grow, but we should get one harvest out of that anyway. And that's really all I'm looking for. Just to have some strawberries around, mostly to gift to Maru. Uh, we might sell some just to re recoup, recoup some of our expenditures, but, um, yeah. Okay. Well, we don't need these potatoes, or that, or those, and we have to save that 
stuff. Oh, I don't need these, I suppose. Just the gold ones. All right. Now let's go into our chest of goodies. We'll grab that out. We'll put that away. We'll need that later. I, I think we already turned in a potato. Let me check. Did I already turn in a potato? I did. Oh, fabulous. We can sell all the potatoes then. Let's sell the potatoes. Very nice. Okay. And now we can put our hat on. It's, it's very exciting. It's one of the most exciting moments of the entire game right here. <gasps> and hat time. All right. Now we look like a real farmer. That's great. Like at the beginning of the day, I was like, oh, you know, I wonder when the festival is. And then it was, t <laughs> was today. <laughs> Preserves jar. Okay. Okay. And uh, we level four farming. I'll take it. And we got a couple thousand dollars from our lovely crops here. Well done. Now then, do we reinvest some of those funds into more potatoes? Oh, it is time for the queen of sauce. Okay, the weather tomorrow, beautiful and sunny. That's not helpful. Coleslaw. Oh. Do you guys like coleslaw? Leave me a comment. What do you think? Do you, do you like coleslaws are good? Come by the shop and check out the new rods I'm selling. Willie. I feel like I already have a rod, Willie. You know? Okay, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24... We can buy 24 potatoes. That's a pretty good amount of potatoes. Now that we don't need parsnips. Now that we have all of our golden, delicious, and community center desired parsnips, uh, we will probably never grow them again. <laughs> we definitely focus on potatoes at this point. Oh, what a surprise. My dog is barking at something in the background. He probably saw a squirrel. Uh, he has really been enamored of late with squirrels. And by that, I mean he hates them and has been exceedingly loud whenever he sees one. <laughs> Did we just get another golden one? No, no, we didn't. That was from the day before. Okay, never mind. Oh, goodness gracious. You know, I will say, too, that I don't usually do things in the morning like this, where I have to be, um, I don't want to say uh, awake, but, I, uh, you know, thinking uh, at a swifter level, perhaps, than I'm used to in the mornings. Uh, so this has been kind of good for me, I think, to do this and record it. Uh, it's very hard to record in the afternoon. There's just not much time. So I have to, to do my recording in the morning. And then that gives me enough time to get it done. And uh, in addition to that, I'd be ready for the rest of the day. So it's great. Now then, to the community center. Did we pet the cat? Nugget, did we pet you? Oh, no, we did not. There we go. Now we have. Well, let's go drop off some items for the community center. And see what else we end up with over there. It'll be great. And fabulous. And wonderful. And Pierre, I think, is open. And we should probably buy some potatoes. Because I would like to make more money. Hello, sir. Yo, know, first things first. Let's sell these. There we go. Now then, now we can buy potatoes. What did we say, 24? Is that what we said? Six days? Yeah, we got plenty of time. 24 potatoes. How long does this take? 12 days? Oh, we could have gotten cauliflowers. Let's buy some more cauliflower too. Why not? We got time. I think we can pick up our axe as well since we're over here. grab that. I should probably go look and see what's at the uh, the cart lady. Oh man, 
we got a lot to do. There's the axe. Very nice. Now we can be a little more efficient in cutting down things at the farm. And I really need some extra time to go to the mine to get some more copper so that we can upgrade the pickaxe because I'm going to need to do that. Is this one of those episodes where we do three days? One of the super rare three day episodes? It might be. The festival doesn't really take as long as like a whole actual day does. It's something to think about. Okay, there we go. Bundle complete. Very good. What do we get out of that? Speed grow. You know, that would have been super helpful about a day ago. <laughs> uh, really would have been nice for those strawberries. I'm just, I'm just saying. You know? I'm just saying. Quality crops, there we go. All right, uh, and hopefully we can get these done in the summer. We don't have to worry about the yams. Oh, that'd be good. Okay. Everybody's excited, and more things are opening. What's over here? The blacksmith. Very nice. All right, well, let's go see what's over there. Real fast. Let's go take a little look-see. We don't need the fish right now. We want this thing. What's in here? Treasure hunter. Oh. Well, that's fun. Gemstones. Okay. Uh, okay, battery. Battery is probably the hardest thing in there. The iridium is... Well, it's not super hard to get, but might take a bit. Okay, adventurous. All right, so yeah, the battery probably is the most annoying part of that. Okay, no problem. No problem. What did I say I had to do? Oh, the cart lady. Yeah, the cart lady. All right, let's go. Let's go on south of town. Say hi to the cart lady. We'll swing back into the farm, plant all of our crops probably eat some kale or something <laughs> and then I don't know chop down some trees maybe I, I feel like that's the plan hello Penny hello um the weather's interesting don't you think sorry I mean you know look sometimes that's the extent of my conversational ability too and uh, I feel that you know I get it I get it what have been nice there something oh oh you it smells I mean, it's a sewer, so... <laughs> Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. But it smells. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum? Why do you think that? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for the big rusty key. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, that was a strange sound. Also a strange sound. And they run away and hide behind you. <laughs> There's something moving around in there. You would think that this would get you friendship points with them, wouldn't you? You come down here and go check it out. Hmm. It looks like a sewer grate. I like that we just stand on the sewer outflow and just don't care also. That always has made me laugh. And that particular little cutscene. <laughs> that that your uh, your your character's like oh it's just stinky sewer outflow I'll just stand in it it's it's fine hey, you know it's no big deal <laughs> there's nothing to see here now, there are some onions to forage though which is great get all of those ooh got some more forage even better any more onions. Got any more onions over here? I do like foraging for onions. I don't know why. Oh, Robin's axe! Hey! <laughs> Check that out. We should probably take that back sometime. I forgot that was even down here. 
What happens if you put that in the Grange display? Does she get mad at you? Hmm. I don't know. Hello there, neighbor. If you hear any banging, it's probably just me working on sculptures. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. And uh, I'll do my best to ignore it, I guess. Oh, there's Jazz. Hello, Jazz. One, two, three, four. Oh, I messed up. I, well, I'm amazed you got to four. I That's trickier than you'd think. Oh, a green tea. Okay. A pumpkin, cave carrot, some bug meat. Oh, a battery pack. <gasps> oh, we don't have the money. We're too poor. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, that hurts my heart. Ugh. Boy. The one thing that's going to be a pain to get to. <laughs> And it was there. It was there. Oh, no. That's that's tragic. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe we'll get really super extra duper lucky and it will be there again at some point. I, I tend to doubt it. But it is random. So, uh, you know, maybe. All right. Let's, let's plant our potatoes. Potato. You boil them, you can mash them, you can stick them in a stew. All right. And then we need to plant 10, 10 cauliflowers. Do we have the energy for that? I don't know. We'll find out. I don't think it'll be too bad. I think we do it. We should probably give Nugget some water. Nugget, would you like some water? Little kitty friend? Yeah. Uh, we'd love to have a cat. Cursed allergies. Uh, well, that's just the way it goes. That's the way it is. That's the way it is, baby. Okay, we can't do that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so this should work out just fine. There we are. And then this way. Cool. And we still have room for, like, four more if there were four more things I wanted to plant. I don't know that there is, but if there were, we would have room. All right, let's... This probably isn't... Oh! Well then. Life is happy. We can get rid of the big stump. All right, let's, let's try and clear some things out then. By all means. All right, this... That plant cannot live there. <laughs> the block my only way to get up and down on the farm. So can you break the big rocks with a copper pickaxe? Is that how that works? All right, look, we're, we don't need these anymore, so we're going to eat one. You know what? Let's just eat both of them. Clear some of this stuff out of here. We don't need to clear all of it out of here. Oh, these guys we can't. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. But we can break the actual stumps, not the logs. All right. All right. Now, I was thinking about this layout over here to myself the other day. And uh, I thought... There's a couple of places I'm interested in maybe putting the, the coop. Uh, over here is one of those places, which, of course, is why I'm mentioning it currently. The other place is uh, way over back to the upper right. Where, uh, right, right after you come down the stairs there. I don't really have a good way to get rid of those right now. Um, I'll show you in just a moment here. Let's see how many of these we can chop up first before we pass out. I might need to eat more onions. We could eat onions. Let's have some onions. Is it 13 energy or something each? 23? That's, that's not terrible. This is not helping me earn any more money, by the way, clearing the farm off. But it needs to be done. It needs to be done. Out of my way, plant. 
so yes, coming up right here on the right hand side, uh, there is a little area here to the right of the staircase. And I think what you could do is you could build a nice, a nice little fence line, you know, like up and down. And uh, the coop would just fit over here nicely. And it wouldn't take up a lot of extra space. Um, and I think that could work out really nicely. That's kind of what I was thinking anyway. And then the barn you could put up on this area. With uh, maybe a shed over here. Anyway, that's sort of what I was thinking. I don't know if that's what I'm going to do, but I have been thinking about it. Because at some point, I'll need to figure that out. And it would be nice <laughs> to have an idea of what I'm going to do with all that. It really would be. Okay, so what? Is that another stump? Yes. Good. There we are. That is a lot of stumps cleared off. And I like it. Now, do we need... The question is, do we need all of these pine trees? And the answer is, I don't think I do. Pine... Pine tar is really not used for very much. Um, I know you can make the totem, the, like the warp totem to the, what, to the beach, I think it is? With it? And I, I don't really know of anything else off the top of my head that you can sort of do that with. Now, I do like maple seeds because you can make beehives with them. And so that's always nice. Um, but that's only helpful if you want to water the flowers every day. I mean, you do get some decent money out of it, which is, which is nice. Do I need this cauliflower? I don't think I do. All right, we'll, we'll hold on to that cauliflower. What time? How long is this video? 27? I think we'll do one more day. I think, I think we'll do a bonus day because of the event. Yeah, we're going to do it. A level 3 foraging, fabulous. Oh, we can make a tapper. That's what I was just talking about. We have to make early tappers in this because... Oh, where was it? One of these... That wasn't it. One of these bundles, this one, has a lot of the saps. Okay, so... If we can make three tree tappers... We can really kind of get a jump on that one. And should be able to get it done pretty, pretty quick. Okay. Living off the land says... It's salmon berry season. Oh, that's always dangerous for me. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Okay. One salmon berry. Wow, $500. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Most crops only grow in one season. Oh, thanks, Evelyn. Well, I guess what we're going to do is water many of our crops, harvest others. Uh, do we buy... Do we go buy more? Or do we hold off on that and save some energy for other activities around? You know, such as... Oh, I don't know. Mining clearing off more of the farm <laughs> those sorts of things uh, we've got to get rid of that grass where's our side at it's in here somewhere isn't it there it is excuse me grass you do not need to grow there you are you are not welcome at this present time on my farm you'll be welcome once I get around to building a silo which, alas, I have not yet done. So, let's see. It's Monday. I wonder if this is going to be the, the two days of rain that I so desperately, desperately need. <laughs> so that we can upgrade our watering can. Because, clearly enough, we will have enough funds 
at the end of this day to pay for that. Although I don't think I have enough copper. And if I go run around, as I will probably be desirous to do, and get salmon berries, uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure if we'll even be able to do that. So, yeah, it's, it's a matter of having enough copper at this point. I'm sure I could go to the mines and make it through and get enough copper if I run through the mine, but then I'm missing out on the lovely salmon berry foraging bonuses. And I do so love the salmon berry foraging bonuses because, as I probably have mentioned, I am just so slow to level up that skill. It just, I, it, it's very slow for me, I don't know why. It seems like all of the other ones go very, very quickly, except for that one. Probably because I don't really run around a lot and try to, you know, do it. I just sort of do it if I'm, if I see something and I'm on my way somewhere else, then I'll you know, I'll grab something on the ground or whatever, but I don't go out of my way to uh, to search it through. And uh, like one of the best ways to level up your foraging remains chopping down hardwood. Stumps, which, you know, I, I don't really have access to. Uh, yeah. All right, well, let's, let's sell these and the green bean. We'll put the cauliflower. No, we'll keep the cauliflower with us. We'll put a couple other things away. Let's sell that too. What else do we got? Okay. And then let's look in here. We can put that away. We'll put this away. And that. And we'll get out these two things. And then we'll switch the order so that it's my normal order. Right there. The hoe usually goes there. We'll put the scythe away. We don't need the scythe right now. We, well, we do need the hoe just in case we find something interesting. Okay. That's for energy. For in the mine. Alright. We're going to return Robin's axe. We'll just slap those down there too. Alright. Here we go. Let's, let's try to get some mining done today. And hopefully then the next day also. Because it did say it was going to rain. I saw those berries down there, by the way. <laughs> Just can't get to them. Sometimes you can build a shortcut here later, which is nice. It's one of the shortcuts you can have Robin put in for you. Oh, there is some foraging up there, I saw. All right, Robin, I have found for you this axe. Hey, you found my axe, what a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. Uh, I feel like maybe you should just be more careful with the axes then like that that sounds hazardous one does not want to chop off toes that that's not great all right there's a leak there's a berry and here is horseradish by the way if you ever want more berries uh eat pancakes Good morning linus the air of the wilderness is all you care to know how about a horseradish there you go uh, yeah, anyway, uh, because pancakes give you a bonus to foraging. And so, you can sometimes get it so that you get a bonus berry out of the whole thing. It's a good time. Alright. Time to mine and hope that we find staircases. <laughs> well, hello, enemy that I'm doing one damage to. How are you today? <laughs> Swipe. Swiper? No swiping. Alright. Let's not channel our inner door right now. Man. I am not a fan of those guys. Oh, lots of geodes, though. That's nice. More bug meat. Okay. Wow, not a single staircase yet. That's... This does not bode well. <laughs> it does not bode well at all. Let's eat a cauliflower. Oh my goodness. 
All right, what else can we eat? Let's let's eat some of these onions. Not all of them, just a couple. All right, there, that'll work. And then two hits for all of these. These gray rocks that I'm breaking to take two hits here at the beginning, these are the ones you want to break early on because they are the ones that give you experience. And so if you want to level your mining up, that's kind of what you want to do. I, there's no copper either. Like, what is... Game, I need... I need copper, game. What did we just get? Oh, we can now enter the guild. Oh, well. Hooray for us, I guess. Forgot we were even working on that. Oh, there's some copper, finally. We found one copper. And, fortuitously, we are also... Oh, wow, we literally got one ore out of it, too. <laughs> I was going to say, fortunately... Uh, we're also getting uh, geodes, which is good, uh, and bug meat, which is which is also great. So we make bait out of the bug meat. Hello, bug friend. How are you today? Could you maybe not murder me? I would appreciate life. And you are not being very helpful in me surviving as you try to, I don't know, eat my face off. So I, you know, just uh, calm yourself, calm yourself. Wow, so many shields. Oh boy. You know what, I don't, do I even care? I just want a staircase. And that is an enemy too. Listen, bug, could you please cease and desist? Thank you. All right. We'll stand here. There we go. Ah, we found it. All right. Eat a parsnip. Maybe two. Oh, we have a little cherry bomb. Well, that seems like a great thing to use. Let's let's put that right here. And we got nothing out of it. Well, look, it was worth a try, okay? Bug. Friend. Listen, I have no desire to murder you. Okay, I just... I just want the copper. What are you, like the copper guardian? Is that what you are? Oh my goodness. We need a better sword. <laughs> so much do we need a better sword. Well, we've gone down only two levels. We've gotten only one piece of copper. I would say that, honestly, this whole excursion has been a bust. All right. Well... We have gotten bug meat at least. That's... It's something. Oh, sure, now you now you open one. Well, now I'm getting more bug meat, okay? Look, I have priorities. There. Floor 18. Is this one of those floors that has a staircase in it way over on the far side? I think it is. Which is great for me. We'll just ignore all the rest of this stuff and just walk over there. Oh, wow. That hurt. Oh, here we go. Yes, more ore. Fabulous. Oh, quartz. Yeah, we're going to need that. We do need several refined quartz for the community center. All right. I don't see a staircase just naturally. That's a shame. But we did finally get to some ore. And that is lovely. All right. Okie dokie, coal time. There we are. That's one of the few things that I do I like in the mines. I love finding coal carts. I wish they refilled more often. That'd be pretty nice. Aha. Okay, eat a parsnip. Maybe two. We're on floor eight, 18. Oh boy. Because I was going to say 19 is one of these really long wraparound floors where you just have to break as many blocks as you can. Fortunately, we have lots of time. It's only 730. So there's no time constraint. There is an energy constraint, a bit of one anyway. 
Oh, there's a gemstone there. Excuse me. We've had this conversation, little bug friend. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but we've had this talk a couple of times now about you trying to, you know, eat me, and I, I don't appreciate you. That's what we've had our conversations about today. Mostly bugs trying to kill us. Ooh, yes, yes, get the gemstone. There's another one over there. I see it. You can't hide from me. Boy, we have got to just eat a bunch of stuff. I would like to get to that gemstone, even if we find a staircase. See, salmon berries aren't too aren't too bad, you know. They they help you. They give you some energy. It's good. Is that a rice? Shoot. I don't think I care about rice. Alright, so nothing there. No staircases yet. Maybe we can get one by killing this slime. Yes! Alright, now... We have to run all the way around. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute to that gemstone because I am not leaving without it or am I listen bug listen no I'm on a mission go away I have things to do <laughs> thank you all right can we make it in time I sure hope so you know we might just end up passing out in the mine Listen, just, just stop. Just desist. <laughs> oh no. They're sending more of them. I choose life! I just want to live! Stop <laughs> trying to kill me! <laughs> I just want to live! Oh goodness. We made it. Oh, we got a better sword. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, two to five, or four to eight. You know what? I'll take it. We'll take it. I... I am not going to complain. Okay. <laughs> Success. We we lived, sort of. Uh, that's great. And um, back to the house we go. Back to Rustic Ridge Farms. <laughs> What an exciting day in the mines that was. Uh, we ate almost all of our extra food. Which, I'm not sure what that means then for tomorrow, except we're going to have to gather a bunch of salmon berries before we go back to the mine just to have something to eat. I do have a lot of geodes now, and that is pretty nice. That, that gives me a good chance of being able to uh, get some good items for the museum. Okay, let's let's build our bait. And now we have oh so much bait for our fishing pole. I grabbed out the wrong pole. Oops. This is why I do not like having two poles. There we go. So how much we got in here? 95. That's pretty good. All right. Let's let's put a few things away. Earth crystal, earth crystal. Okay. Do, mm, you know, I think I do have just enough that I can build a second furnace. And that is fabulous. Alrighty. So we'll put that away again. Okay, so we're going to have some of that tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to rain, and uh, it's time to be done with this episode. We got another level of mining. We can now make a miner's treat. Very good. 
And we made a little teensy tiny amount of money <laughs> from farming. Oh, uh, goodness. Well, that was a fun episode of Stardew. I appreciate all of you for watching. Hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll catch you on the next one. Until then, take care, friends.